Oh boy, kids, it's time to go to Disney Town, everyone's favorite world. I can't wait to do everything in this world and cut out 90% of the footage because it's the same as Terra's. It'll be great. What's up, Ventus? Uh oh. We're in the mask of peace and hope. Comes the fearless defender and hero of this town. It is me, Captain Justin. Oh boy. Uh, um. Young fellow, do my hero senses detect that you got troubles? Just say the word, and Captain Justice will make all your problems disappear. Uh, uh, Can you kill all the unversed? Who, who me? Meow. Who you? I'm just trying to make some friends. Never mind. Forget it. Don't be intimidated by my magnificence. Go on and spit it out. Then remember to vote, Captain J. Vote? No. Oh, well, uh, forget that. How can I help? That's the only reason I'm here. Hmm. I know. Tell me about your town. Everything's so festive. Is it always like this? Huh? That's it. Nothing else. Well, the festivities are on account of the Dream Festival, which is why I made sure there's carnival stuff all over town. Really? Like what? Oh, you gotta see it for yourself. Wouldn't be much of a dream if I just told you. Right. Thanks. And kid, don't you go forgetting. Captain Justice is the one who solved all your problems. That would be Justice with a J. As opposed to a G? Uh, sure. I got it, Captain Justice. Ah, Philly, this stinks. Now we can't open the ice cream shop. Did Tara break the ice cream machine playing all those rounds of ice cream beat? Trouble? Rescue is on the way. A festival, huh? Well, maybe I can make some new friends. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure Ventus is happy to be here. <laughs> Welcome back to Disney Town, everybody. We get to do one mini game, and that's it. And then I cut out pretty much the rest of the footage because I'll just be playing Ice Cream Beat, Rumble Racing, and freaking football again. All the time. And probably nobody wants to see me do that like three times, right? But regardless, there's still some new stuff here. Get the map right away. Hey, what seems to be the problem? Is there any way I can help? Is this guy bothering you? <laughs> Take that, Captain Justice. Ugh. That's for messing up my command board games in Terra Story. <laughs> oh, Your Majesty. Oh, I just hit the Queen with a with Blizzaga. I I'm going to jail for that one. Hi, Minnie. If it ain't the last kid Captain Justice saved, afraid you'll have to get in line. I'm working on another catastrophe here for these fellas. Huey, Dewey, and Louie were good friends. Now I'd hardly call it a catastrophe. Yeah, all we were trying to do was make our own special recipe ice cream. And we had a little trouble. Come on, it's not really that big a deal. I'm 100% positive you're the victims of sabotage. I bet Pete now sabotaged it. Close. Quit making stuff up. It's just the ice cream machine. <laughs> That's what you get for getting the ice cream machine from McDonald's. Uncle Scrooge left it for us, but we can't figure out how it works because it's so complicated. Oh, we're sorry, Queen Minnie. We wanted you to be the first to try our special recipe ice cream. Oh, boys, it was very sweet of you to think of me. We tried. Say no more. Leave it to me. One bowl of ice cream coming right up. You're just gonna make a mess. Leave it alone, Pete. That's Captain Justice. We all know you're Pete, bro. It's okay. Every McDonald's location has the same problem. This machine is busted. It just needs a good pounding. It does not. Hey, do you think I could give it a shot? No, Captain Justice can't fix it. There ain't nothing you can do, kid. All right, you stop being annoying, Maybe bro. Not. But there's no harm in trying. Yeah, and better you than him. Here you go. Why do Huey doing Louie always move their hands like that whenever they talk? Why? Oh boy, folks, now we get to play Ice Cream Beat. We have to. 
Thankfully, it's just the first Small World song. Yeah, 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 I know how to play Ice Cream Beat. Watch Huey, Dewey, and Louie's examples! And then fire the ice cream scoops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We've all seen this before. Do, 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 do. It's a small world after all. I know people don't like this song, but it's good. Oh, yeah. One ice cream sundae coming up, Huey! Honestly, the hardest part of this song is just dealing with the input delay. Like, you gotta press the A button before the circle meets the X button. There we go. So Ventus actually has the fastest uh, Disney Town experience. Heck yeah. We unlock Master Mode for It's a Small World. How wonderful. Uncle Scrooge gave us an ice cream machine that only works if you play a rhythm game with it. This is the dumbest ice cream machine I've ever heard of. <laughs> Clearly, this is not a McDonald's ice cream machine, then. Uh, oh, Ventus. Just Ven is fine. Well, thank you, Ventus. I said Ven is fine. <laughs> way to go, Ven! I see. We had to push this thingamajig the other way. Hey, I just got an idea. We could let our customers make up their own favorite flavors of ice cream. Not with that machine. Well, the kid might have got it to work this one time, but junk like that needs to get junked. Don't you dare, no. Pete! Fine, but Captain Justice will return! About Captain Justice, you said his name is Pete? Yeah, he's the biggest troublemaker in town! I bet he's just calling himself Captain Justice because he wants to win the Million Dreams Award. What's the Million Dreams Award? That's one of the Dream Festival events. Everyone votes for who they think is the town's most exemplary citizen. I get it. So that's what he meant by vote. And if you win the award, you get a really cool prize! Oh, it's just a small token. Nothing elaborate. The event is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. That's the spirit of the award. Well, that sounds nice enough. He just wants to get his grubby hands on the prize. And he knows that nobody's gonna vote for him if he puts his own name on the ballot. But nobody's fooled! Yeah, yeah. his costume's not very good. <laughs> yeah. Wish somebody was looking out for me. And yep, <laughs> if you want, that's all you have to do for Disney Town is Ventus. Took us less than 10 minutes. Booyah! Yay, we beat Disney Town! But unfortunately, because I'm going for 100%, we gotta go back. But we get the tune board. The Dream Festival is all. Make sure you go back and play all of the Dream Festival activity. Did it? It's just. I'm sorry, hang on. I must have read that wrong. There's no way it said that I have 51% of the treasures here. Okay, no, I, oh, I messed the, I looked at that and it's 5%, which makes sense. I read that as 51%. I'm like, how is that possible? I only opened one chest. <laughs> oh, well. I think the very first thing we're going to do, actually, no. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in the sewer. How much, fun, okay, we got Fundaga and Fundara, so that should be sufficient. <laughs> Jump into the sewer? Sure, what could go wrong? Because remember, we need thunder-based commands in order to power up the machine. This works the same way it does in Terra's story. Oh, hey, thunder! Pretty sure this is just the spider chip box. Yep. Another thunder spell. Let's enter the thunderbolt command style. That'll help. 
Nice job. Way to get that machine working, Van. Proud of you. In the meantime, let's find some unversed and pull them into our Magnega. Man, Ben is really bad at hitting enemies in that. Oh my gosh, yes he is. Okay, there should be more than this, right? Where did all the other enemies go? Oh, they're all over here. Magnega! Ooh, yeah, get wrecked. Nice going, Ben. All right. Now we got to climb up. Doop, de doop, de doop, de doop, de doop. This should work the exact same way that it did in Terra's story. Got to make sure we get the chests along the way, though. Mega potion. Yeah. Do, 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 do. We don't have air slide yet, though, so that might make things a little trickier. Oh no! No no no! Don't move away! <laughs> no! No! Oh man, not having air slide is uh proven to be a bit difficult. I suppose I could equip sliding dash, but I think I just need to get good. Dang, that's a cool looking keyblade though. Gotta admit. I'm even trying to do short hops to maximize or minimize the amount of time I spend on there. Ugh. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look how much more powerful our magic is compared to Terra's. Terra would be not dealing nearly this much damage with stuff like Fundaga. Yay, the Mickey Mouse sticker. I'm so glad we got that. You gotta put together your sticker album of playing the terrible ice cream mini game. Do do do. Okay, hang on. How close are we? Okay. I guess we haven't gotten as much CP as I thought. <gasps> Why does everything have to have a glove on it? That's the Mickey Mouse guarantee! Dog got it! Don't leave without me. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's try this again. Once again, yeah. Not... No! Duh! Okay, you know what? We're equipping some sliding dashes. It's happening. Alright, we only have one? Okay, we'll equip some fire dashes as well, then. Fire dash doesn't take us as far. But, with two of them, it should work. Man, we need attack hastes, though. My gosh, we need attack hastes. I love that sliding dash can be used in midair. It's fantastic. Mega Ether. There we go. Now we can re-equip the stuff we had. Fire, uh, Vision, Fireaga, and Blizzaga. Because, of course, we're about to push more enemies. Alright, we're back in the pinball machine. This will function the same way that it did in Terra's story. And oh man, this, the pinball machine is going to be really annoying without, without air, air slide. Ventus does get air slide eventually, but. He's in the chest. Action recipe. Also, where's the Iznua? I thought Ven got Ezu Eznua, or however you pronounce it, in Radiant Garden. The thing that we need in order to meld Renewal Block.
Yeah. Oh my gosh, this pinball machine is so annoying. And the worst part is getting through the pinball machine gives us a reward that would really help us to get through the pinball machine. Okay, actually, you know what? Er, no. We've got, we've hit so many of the bumpers already. Don't, no, don't hit, don't hit an invisible wall there, Ben. No, don't, don't combo into the bumpers. That's not good. No, you did it again! Doggone it. Panacea. Oh, I missed that treasure. That's a good thing I got knocked back in there then. I missed an obvious treasure chest. No! Why do you keep hitting the bumpers? I'm not even getting knocked in that direction. Based I shouldn't be getting knocked in that direction based on how I'm hitting these bumpers. You hit the freaking invisible wall again! Are you for real, Ventus? Terra did not have this issue. Just want to get to the top of the pinball machine. Okay, no, no, you know what? Forget this. Forget this. We'll go back inside. But first, we'll go on the rooftop. Slot edge! Oh, thank goodness. I've been wanting to get that for a while now. I don't have to meld it myself now. Oh, yay! Here are the ice cream guys. No, 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 don't fly away, don't fly away. Alright, well... We could have done that a little bit better. But I think we did alright. Oh, sweet. All right, sliding dash. Fire dash, fire dash. And we're gonna move all of these to the top. Okay, because we definitely want to get to the other side over there. 100%. And I'm hoping that a sliding dash plus two fire dashes will get us there, but it might not. I really hope it does though, so. Oh yeah, never mind. It totally did. Now we just don't fall off. Alright, this chest. We get super glide. Okay, so we are not supposed to get this chest at this point. We are supposed to get regular glide and then glide over here, but no, we're getting super glide right now. Glide! Press and hold circle while jumping to glide. Gliding lets you cross wide gaps and reach new places. This is an amazing sequence break that you absolutely want to do. Here we go. Super glide. Hold circle in midair to glide at a high speed. And yeah, it's amazing. So now... Oh my gosh, look how fast we are. Alright, thank you Sliding Dash. You've been most helpful. We also have Slot Edge now. I think I will actually equip Slot Edge for a little bit. Because I do want to level that up. And now that we have Super Glide, we should be able to get for the Pinball Machine. It also gives us our new fastest way of moving around. Aerial Slam. I've been waiting for that one as well. It's a good one. Now we just gotta hit all of the blue bumpers. There we go. Opens up the thing over here. Which gives us break time. And it's very important to get break time as Ventus. Because we actually will be melding with it. Yes, it's a, you actually, there's a very, 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 very good command that you can only get by melding uh, break time. And break time is one of the single most difficult commands in the whole game to meld. 
you can meld, meld a break time, but you only have a 10% chance of actually getting break time as a result of the melding combination. It's terrible. <laughs> really, really terrible. Yay, our fire dash is leveled up. I think we only need them at level 2. So, uh, to get... What you call it. In order to get Thunder Surge. Now we just gotta get some Fundaras. And yeah, this room would be a lot easier to navigate if you had Super Glide for the whole thing, but that's fine. We got Super Glide way earlier than we were supposed to anyways, so I am happy with that. Oh yeah, let's turn in our ice cream ingredients. <laughs> that's not how you do that. Thanks for the ingredients! Look, we made more ice cream! We get 60 Bueno Volcanoes, 12 Goofy Parfaits. Cool! So the Bueno Volcanoes will get, let us go into... Uh, Firestorm, Goofy Parfait gives us a, gets us into the Cyclone Command Style. I haven't actually entered the Cyclone Command Style yet because it's very annoying to trigger. Actually, if we go to Stats and Command Styles... Cyclone activates when you're already using a command style, and you follow with arrow-related commands, strike attacks like fire strike, or raid attacks like strike raid. Okay. Oh boy, a potion. Alright, I'm gonna just do the rest of Ice Cream Beat. See you guys much later for me. Alright, we are done with Ice Cream Beat now. We got, I think, the exact same rewards that we got from Terra's Story. We got an Elixir, a Chaos Crystal, a Blizzara, a Blizzaga, a Freeze Raid, and the Frozen Fortune Command Style. So, yep, we are done with the beating of Ice Cream today. I think Ice Cream Beat has the exact same rewards across every single one of the stories. At the very least, the Frozen Fortune Command Style, you always get in all three stories by clear getting a fantastic ranking on... Desert Islands Master Mode. Anyways, that was the fun part. Now we've got to do flippin' Fruit Ball again. Oh, brother, I hate this. At least I'm good at it. Oh, you want to play a Fruit Ball? I really don't, but I have to. Who do you want to play against? There's only one choice, because for some reason, we have a really hard time of getting people who are willing to play Fruit Ball. We literally had to conscript actual monsters to play, because everyone else realizes this game sucks. I mean, it plays exactly the same. I mean, Ventus moves, I guess, a little bit differently than Terra does, but... But you still want to do, like, lob shot, followed by... You still want to do, like, a lob shot. And then spike it into the ground. Like, that's, that's the, literally the way to do it. I don't want to say it's the only way, but it definitely gives you the best overall results. So remember, triangle to lob it in the air, and then X to slam it into the ground. Yes! Take that, Captain Justice. I am the Fruit Ball Champion. Yay, Chaos Snake! We finally get a new shot log, and I'm equipping that one right away. Despite Flame Salvo being fire-based and us having three fire boosts, Chaos Snake, I think, will still out-damage it because it's just that stupidly good. Alright, off to the raceway. We got some treasure chests to grab, and some rumble racing to do. We got Reversal Slash. Use Reversal Slash to strike from behind. Press X after a successful reversal. Install Reversal Slash underneath the Reversal command. Well, I'd love to, but oh, I can do it right now. I still haven't been able to show off Reversal yet, have I? There we go.
There we go, we finally get Air Flare 1. Finally, we leveled up that finish command. I've been waiting for that for a while. Air Flare 1, knock enemies into the air with a flurry of wind-powered attacks. Stun some foes. Ventus has a whole slew of air-based commands to, or finish commands. I have called this Air Bud Best Boy. <laughs> I have this in honor of the one and only football playing dog, Air Bud. Naturally. Oh, let's see if we can meld the fire dash with... No, we can't. Okay. That's off limits. Guess we're equipping the fire dash to level that up a little bit more. Reg Don't attack Chippendale. I wanted to register for Rumble Racing. Let's do Country Chase. So Rumble Racing plays slightly differently with Ventus because Terra has his Keyblade speeder bike, whereas Ventus has like a Keyblade hoverboard. So, I mean, it controls, I guess, maybe slightly differently, but it's not really that noticeable. It's the, still the same controls. His attack is a little different, though. Instead of, like, moving his Keyblade around in a circle, he does, like, a little spin dash. Ventus is brutal. Other than that, though, like, it pretty much controls the same. We still have the barrier. And everything else is the same, so... If you can beat Rumble Racing with one character, you can beat it with another. So I'm just going to cut right to the ending when we have gotten new Keyblade. Alright, that's Rumble Racing done, and we get the Victory Line Keyblade. It gives us an additional one strength over our current Keyblade, the Frog Flame, but I actually don't think I'm going to equip it because it gives us minus one magic. And I do like getting that magic stat because I have a magic build after all. But at this point, do we have all the treasures in Disney Town? We do. We're still missing four in the Enchanted Dominion, though. So I kind of want to go back. Because Enchanted Dominion, four chests missing? I don't know about that one. And now we have high jump, so I think we will be able to grab it if uh, worse comes to worse. All right, I'm heading back to Aurora's Chambers because I'm wondering if we actually missed a chest or two in the castle. I don't think we did, but just in case Stefan's castle actually has some stuff that we missed, I'm going to take a quick look around. Plus, I think we can get the uh, sticker in this room now that we got Super Glide. Oh, yeah. Easy money. Because the chest icons were all at the start, at the, like, the top of the page, it made me think that, like, they were chests that were located early on. In the locations you're likely to first reach, but I guess not, because I definitely have opened them all in the castle. I think maybe, then maybe they're still at Maleficent's Tower. Okay, this room will definitely have some stuff. Aha! So there's two, now that we have high jump, we can reach these. Balloon letter and... Wellspring Crystal. Not great. But could be worse. Nothing from hitting that uh, wheel. Oh, I see a treasure chest over there. Another in another high up place that we couldn't reach before. Hey, absolute zero. The shot lock. And here we go. There's that last chest. Suvine crystal. I think that was the last chest. 
Okay, yeah, we had to come back here after getting high jump and leveling up a bit, up a bit. There we go. See ya, losers. Back to the Forbidden Mountain. Actually, hang on. Before we go back, we should check to see how many stickers we have in this world. Uh, okay, we got them both. Cool. We missed all three in the Radiant Garden. Well, we didn't have Super Glide back then. Alright, well, for you guys, I don't think that that was a whole lot of footage from Disney Town. So I think we're going to head off and do Olympus Coliseum as well, because this is another nice and short world. Especially for Ventus, this world is really short. Terra had to fight a bunch of stuff, but Ven has to fight, I think, two sets of enemies, and then play a minigame with Hercules. Olympus Coliseum! Where are you going, Phil? Huh? Oi, the kid's relentless. Hey, what you doing there? <laughs> I told you, I'm booked solid. And old spells, forget it. Uh, what? And who in hell can arses are you? Can't you see I'm busy? Hey, Phil! I'm all signed up! Phil! All right, Art, I hear you. Now, would you keep it down already? Aha! <laughs> Beautiful. You happy now? You blew my cover. <laughs> Okay, fess up. I asked around and everybody says you're the guy. The trainer of heroes. True heroes? Really? You can teach that? Of course he can. Come on, Phil, please. I really want to be a hero. Look, we've been through this. I got two words for you. Student, teacher, ratio. One, two, three. I already got my hands full with this one. Come on, Herc. I'm low maintenance, I swear. <laughs> Unburst monsters, huh? Hey, Phil, watch this. I'll show you what I'm made of. <laughs> We've got three people who are eager to be heroes. I love it. Yeah, so take out all of the Unversed. Zack is actually here to help us, and so is Hercules. We tag team. Well, I don't think they're going to be doing much tag teaming. Magda, Vision Faraga. That's all she wrote. <laughs> so, what do you think? I think Ven is the true hero here. I mean, they don't even have Fission Fyraga. Shoot! Get wrecked. <laughs> Air Bud, best boy. That was it. That was a little disappointing. I expected Air Bud to be a better boy than that. Hey, Zach, you knocked them out of my way. Hey, bro. Freeze raid! Oh, sorry, Hercules. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> but you know how it be sometimes. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah. Easy peasy. Then again, we got some powerful commands, like Magnica and Fission Fyraga. My personal favorites. Hercules didn't do much. But he's got that raw strength. <laughs> uh, okay, change of plans. The games are coming up. So I'm gonna watch both of your matches, then I'll decide which of you rookies I want to train. Sweet! Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna go sign up right now. The games, huh? Sounds fun. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Captain Eager there just took the last spot. No. Sorry, Van. I don't understand. Phil, I, I thought you were my trainer. You want to be a true hero, Herc? Then you're gonna have to go out there and show me that everything I taught you so far is gonna pay off. Uh oh, but Phil. Oh, and no more training sessions for a while. Wouldn't be fair if I helped you and not him. Oh man. Hey, cheer up. So you gotta fight a couple of matches. No big deal. I'm Ventus. You want me to help you train? You'd really do that for me? Heck yeah. Sure. Ven's super eager and nice. Thanks, Ventus. I'm Hercules. Herc for short. Just call me Ven. You're gonna do fine. Thanks. 
I'm gonna head over to the Colosseum and warm up. Meet me in the vestibule, okay? Terra's story is basically just Terra being an idiot nonstop, and Ventus' story is just how he's too pure for this world, pretty much. It's just, it's just a nice, wholesome time. Until it's not. But I'm getting ahead of myself. All of my commands are still being leveled up, eh? Alright. Take that. Here, bud, best boy! Ben, can you please attack him properly? Thank you. There we go, fire dash level four. That's gotta help. There we go. Which means we can finally meld the Fire Dash with the Fundara to get Thunder Surge. With a Fleeting Crystal, which gives us Attack Haste. Yes. What else can we meld? Oh, hey, we can meld two Fireas. We had just attach an Abounding Crystal and Bada Beam Fireaga with EXP Chance. Not that we're really going to use it a whole lot, I don't think, but still. Better than nothing. I love you, Aerial Slam, but... I'd rather have Fyraga on right now. You understand how I feel, right? No! Well, too bad. <laughs> this is how it's gonna be. Oh boy, Akira! Just lying out in the chest for me. It must be my lucky day. And we get a confetti sticker. And a mega potion. Goodness me, what next? Oh, a fire strike. Pretty simple. Yeah. We get the map as the final chest. Makes sense. Hey, Herc. Hey, you ready for some training? <laughs> Let's get started. So that weird barrel game that I played as Terra. Yeah, we, we actually have to play that in Ventus' story. Break the urns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Score 15 points within the time limit. Okay, yeah. this will be easy. How is Hercules beating me? No, Hercules is destroying me. We don't have to. Be oh, there we go. <laughs> well, Herc actually beat me, but it doesn't matter. All we had to do was get 15 points. Yeah! That'll boost his confidence by beating us. Huh? <laughs> sloppy, kid. Real sloppy. <laughs> Alright, there we go. <laughs> Ready for some training? Uh, give me a second. Actually, I do. I think we do have to do another set of training. Yeah, let's go. Score more points than Hercule. Okay, now it's now it's for real. Nope, that's my barrel. <laughs> Gonna do the classic just ride on the barrel strategy. This is actually like no joke the best way of scoring points. Thunder Surge also helps because, well, it's the most overpowered command in the game, but... As you can see, Hercules, he don't mess around. Like, he actually gets a pretty good score. How does Fission Pyraga not just obliterate everything? That's what I want to know. Oh, yeah, Herc, Herc, you're in trouble. Look at, look at my score. 
You gotta ride on the barrels like I do. I'm just a rolling on the round. I'm just a rolling on a round. <laughs> Oh, just strolling through the park one day. Just brought in on a barrel today. I was taken by surprise by Hercules not beating me in a strength competition when he's literally a god. <laughs> oh, remember when I said that Hercules is actually pretty good at this game? Yeah, uh, I, I lied. <laughs> Looking at our scores, it's pretty clear that uh, Ventus should be the one being trained. Bye, uh, Phil. See ya! We get a deck capacity increase. Yeah! And we should we should now have the biggest deck, I believe. You wanna become a true hero, huh? More than anything. See, my father is Zeus, the king of the gods up on Olympus. Whoa! Herc, you're a god? No, no, I'm mortal. When I was a baby, somebody stole me from my parents and figured out how to take away my godhood. And this true hero thing? It's the only way I can become a god again. If I become a true hero, I can rejoin my father and go back to Olympus. What's a father? <laughs> wow. I guess you really got your work cut out for you. I guess I said everybody... <laughs> Earlier I said everybody's an orphan in this game, but actually no, Hercules is not. He actually has two sets of parents. How come you're here? I'm just trying to make some friends. <laughs> oh. Hey, you've done that already. Huh? Come on, we're friends, aren't we? <laughs> if we're friends, you'll forge a D-Link with me. Oh, sorry. Doggone it. <laughs> you bet, Herc. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say from now on. <laughs> if I want to see how close of friends right, we really are. If I can't D-Link you, then you're not my friend. <laughs> it's time we go over the rules of the game, so listen up. All the matches are divided into two brackets, one for the East and one for the West. The winners from each bracket go head-to-head -head in the championship match. Now I sign you two up for the West, because they already got a heavy hit and contender cleaning up over there in the East bracket. And if you want to beat them, you're going to have to hustle in there. Now move those sandals. I wonder who that person cleaning up the east side is. Contender. Ben, come on. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just get some free frame JPEGs of them kicking butt, but we don't actually get to see it in action. That would take too much time. Yes, we made it. Yeah, and it's all thanks to you, Ven. Good. The other kid will be happy to hear that. No, I need you most of all, Phil. How else am I going to become a hero? Huh, about time you got it. Oh, sorry, Zach. Whoever wins, no hard feelings. Oh, well, not. that's nice. Holding a grudge wouldn't be very heroic. Hey, just making sure. You're not a hero yet. <laughs> True. <laughs> Oh, wait, hang on. Herc has to go barehanded and Zack gets a sword? Seems like Zack might have the advantage. <laughs> Although Hercules does have godlike strength. This is really close. Neither of them have hit each other yet. <laughs> what kind of match is it? It's the battle of the guys who don't actually hit each other. Hey, we got trouble. There's monsters loose in town, and if they gate crash the games, you can forget about the match. Real monsters? We have to stop them. Leave the monsters to me. This match is too important. Oh, snap. But before we head out there, we do have a deck to level up. We got a new slot open. So, boop, doop, boop, doop, boop, doop, boop, doop, boop, doop, boop, boop. Um, oh, wow. Do we really not have... We're actually going to put a lot of Magnera. 
Because I know what enemies we're gonna face. Oh hey! Well I guess I guess we got a little time. Airbud Best Boy is not a very good finisher, is what I've seen. It keeps whiffing everybody in the magnet. Shoot, missed out on the reversal slash. Oh well. The town near Thebes. Oh boy, not the jelly floats. This is why I equipped a Magnera. Because Magnera just tears through them. Oh no. Forget the match. No way I could let my friend fight alone. Cause I'm a hero. I mean, you know, I'm gonna be one. Come nice on, job, let's finish this together. Team up with Hercules and defeat countless unver Well, I don't know about countless. <laughs> oh wait, Hercules wanted to do something. Okay, well, uh, hang on. Let me let, let's try that again, maybe. Alright, what's the direction? Okay. I keep moving the control stick, and it's not doing anything. There we go. I'm moving the control stick. What do you want from me? Oh, wow, that was all we had to do? Oh, easy. <laughs> like I said, Magna Gut Magnera just destroys the jelly floats completely. Not much of a boss fight, though. Obtained Air Slide at last. Well, I mean, I have Super Glide now, so I don't really need this anymore, but... Cool, I guess. Sorry that I made you lose that match, Herc. Oh, come on. You don't have to apologize. It was totally my decision. Oh! oh. What? You didn't save any for me? Hey, you're here. Hey, I've set my sights on being a hero, too. I just don't run as fast, that's all. So you both threw the match? Who won then? Nobody. I left first, so it's not me. Yeah, but I was only seconds behind you. Still. Hey, I never said okay. I coached the winner. All I said was I'd see the match, then decide. Look, being a hero takes more than just muscle. You gotta have heart, care about people. It's true. I'm sure you both get high marks for that. But this time, only one of you cared fast enough, and that makes all the difference. Oh, and that means... Sorry, Zach. Oh, man. I was this close. <sighs> well, that's life. I never really introduced myself. The name's Zach. Congratulations, Herc. But thanks, Zach. Yeah, well, we'll see if you're still thanking him when I'm through with you. You got a long road ahead of you, champ. Yeah, but you're gonna hey, get swole. Don't count me out. I've still got plenty of big dreams to go with my lousy luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, be honest. You weren't really gonna stop training her, were you? Ah, of course not. I know that kid's gonna go the distance, but he was stuck in a rut. He just needed a little... Incentive. It's uh, Ventus, right? Well, thanks to you, Herc here is really shaped up. I owe you. Nah, I'm glad. I made a really good friend. Somebody to share a laugh with. Like Terra and Aqua. We'll patch things up. You're leaving? Yeah. My journey's not over yet. But you'll visit, right? I'll stop by once you're Maybe. a true hero. 
Stop by once me and him are both heroes. Oh, so you mean never come back? Hey, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> that was rude, Ventus. <laughs> And we forge a D-Link with Zack, but not Hercules. Even though we became better friends with Hercules, and we get the mark of a hero Keyblade. Why don't we forge a D-Link with Hercules as well? We, we, we literally became better friends with him. Although that ending is a bit telling, because uh, Phil kind of took a shining to Ventus at the end of that, and then if you'll remember, if you played or watched me play Free 580 for two days, Phil took a shining to Roxas as well, so... It's kind of interesting. I'm surprised he wasn't like, Hey, wait, you're Ventus, right? He, he didn't notice. <laughs> Don't mind that. That also is probably why Axel took a liking to Roxas so early, because he, his human form, Lee, took a liking to Ventus. I don't know, though. I guess they'll, it's just one of those things you'll have to ponder on your own. That's it for today, everybody. Thanks for watching. Next time we go to Deep Space, Combat Level 6, and we will help out Stitch. I'm quite sure. And maybe go back to do some more Mirage Green stuff. Anyways, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.